But today I am rendering some fat in this here pan. Ooh, looking good, looking good. On this here stove. Now this is what many people call a rocket stove. I just call it an insulated tube. Anyway, if you look through this little hole here, you can see fire. You should not be able to see fire through there. <laughs> and it's because the tube on the inside has disintegrated. The metal that's in there right now, what's left of it, was from the door to like a big industrial stove. It's pretty thick metal, not stainless though. And since it was made for a stove, I thought it would be able to withstand the heat and last a pretty long time. But I don't know. Maybe I was just trusting that too much and got it too hot. Um, and it seems to have just basically rusted out. And the rust definitely increases with heat. And like I said, I've had some really hot fires in there. And right now, because there's that big chunk missing, a bunch of the insulation between the outer layer and the inner layer around this area fell out. So you can see this area here is rusted, but like everywhere the insulation is, not rusted, right? Oh, regardless, I'm gonna try using some stainless steel for the interior part this time. Hopefully it'll be better. And I'm going to use an actual sealed tube, not just some metal I, I crank around into a circle and then rivet together. This is a three inch, tube. It's 304 steel. I bought it a while ago when I bought a whole bunch of tubes and I'm going to cut it right here and then figure out how to something something. Well first step I just have to cut off a piece. Ooh, I've got my sexiest clothing on today because I just don't care. There we go. I've got 1.5 millimeter wall thickness here, which should be pretty good. Kind of like a four inch tube for this. However, this is what I have and it should be fine. Um, I'm kind of thinking of making a fancier version of this stove. So one way you can make this kind of stove burn cleaner and hotter is to have uh, like a second tube coming up uh, coming from the bottom somewhere going up along the side so the air comes in gets heated up and then somewhere I don't know some halfway ish put a hole into there so the air goes in and then the air is hot so it gets this infusion of hot oxygen like halfway up the combustion chamber that burns up the rest of the smoke. Hmm, what do I want to use for that? Jeez. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't believe that cracked. Okay, this stuff is too brittle. All right, let's do something better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doesn't need to be airtight. Oh, wow, what a mess in there. Wow. Oh, we've got something missing here. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Fett. Oh, come on. Just stay there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to be dumping this upside down to get ashes out of it. And that is going to fall out. <laughs> okay, I know what to do. I'm going to attach this thing. And I'll just rivet it just above where that thing is. So the rivets will hold it in place. And maybe I'll put one on the other side too. Alright, that was a pretty long rivet. Seems to be holding it in place. One more here. That should be good. Although, before I lock this thing in place, I better, better drill some little holes in here so the air coming up can actually get in. So, how's that? I don't know, five holes? Well, six holes? Sounds. Hey, don't do this. <laughs> One cheese grater. Okay, looks good. It's lined up right here. Yeah. Get crap on my I decided to have my secondary airflow come right in from the bottom. Which means I'll drill a bunch of holes right in the middle at the bottom here. And then air will, oh, I'll have to drill a few holes around the edge too. But that way air will come in through the bottom and that will prevent anything below from getting burned. Because, I don't know, what if I put this on top of a wood thing or a plastic thing or something? That way the bottom won't ever get hot. Oh, that's a bit of a messy angle during grinder job, but nobody will ever see it. Who cares? Oh, right. I guess everyone is going to see it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well, with a little bit of luck, that is going to fit inside that. Oh, I can get it out. I get it out of this thing. Oh, I got it now. I got the edge through. That means I just need to pull it the rest of the way. Yeah, piece of cake. Oh, yeah, I gotta trim that too. Chop, chop. Alright, let's make sure this is centered. Well, oh, doesn't that be perfect? Well, I need air to get up into there anyway. Beauty. Okay, now is it top. I don't know what to do up here or anything. I think I got it. Okay, stuff with insulation, fold these down, and then make a cap. Oh, this here bag is full of leftover fiberglass from making boats and various other things. I think, I think that's what the bag is. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Oh. The main job of the insulation is to prevent air movement. Uh, 
Alright, that's pretty gross. I mean, good. Uh, let's get one more piece on top. Bleah. Okay, that's good. Now, hopefully, if this thing is ever out in the rain, which I'm sure it will often be, this will make the rain run off the side here or down the middle and it'll run right out the bottom and not get into the fiberglass layer. Because if it soaks into the fiberglass layer, ah, I have to heat the whole thing up enough to dry out the insulation before it really insulates. Oh, just let's go light something in this thing. Ah, I got a whole bunch of little twigs in there to get it started. Everything is soaking wet, and I've not, I don't have any dry wood, so. Um, this will keep wood that I put in up here so that air can get in under there. And then I've also got the air flow through all these little holes that'll come up inside, get heated up, and then come in halfway through. Hopefully that'll give some extra boost of air. This is probably gonna be smoky anyway, though, just because everything is wet. I actually have a smoker right there. <laughs> Because uh, sometimes, right after it rains a lot, mm, bugs are out, although it seems fine. It could just seem fine because I, I have a coconut husk burning. Oh, yep, starting to burn my, my wet little sticks there. So not what I'm supposed to be doing. Should totally be using dry wood, but it will dry out the wood. That's it. This is the extent of my current indoor firewood pile. You know, I got all this, which would burn like stink, but you know, I want to do stuff with this. This is useful stuff. All right. Well, it's burning, so let's hope it keeps going. Now what's supposed to happen here is all this stuff is going to burn up and land down on the bottom in here and then the air will come in under the bottom, keep those hot coals going and light this stuff and this stuff as it burns the bits will fall down into the little hot coal pile and it should just keep going and going. Ah, you can see where the air is coming in, halfway down. Well, this has been going for a while. Slightly warm to the touch outside. Definitely not hot. 
Yeah, I can leave my hand there, no problem. So, the insulation seems to be working. Yeah, no hot spots. Good. Well, I think I better cook something. Ooh, I think it is going now. I just left this for a while, hoping that the coals in the bottom would dry out these sticks, and it looks like it did, because, oh yeah. Nice. I'm going to attempt to make peanut butter popcorn with 50% peanut butter, 50% oh, corn oil or whatever it is, I don't know. Step one, melt the peanut butter. I'm getting there. And once it's melted, just make the popcorn like usual. I don't know if it's gonna work with that much peanut butter. It's a little bit thick. Oh, looking promising. Oh, got a couple pops. That's about right for how many kernels I put in. Get a bit of salt in there. I'm gonna have to make a full pot when my kids are here. Oh, delish! Oh, that is so good. I've done this before, and I remember the peanut butter burning a little bit. And I think it's because it had sugar in it. Because, you know, they put sugar in peanut butter. Anyway, the peanut butter I have right now has no sugar added. So, no burning whatsoever. Oh, total goodness. Who is the knucklehead who decided to put sugar in peanut butter anyway? Must be part of the league of anti-peanut butter popcorn people. Oh, ridiculous anti-peanut butter popcorn league. You guys, you guys can go, get, go away. It's the next day and it's actually sunny, so I have some dry wood for my stove. Man, it is working so well. Whew. I, don't want, I don't even want to hold the camera over it because it's the heat coming straight off that tube is so good. Yeah, just a few sticks in there. And it is burning. No smoke. There's a little bit of smoke coming out of, yeah, like out of these cracks. So it's coming out of the the fiberglass layer. I guess there's, I don't know. It, it is used fiberglass, so it might have gotten a drip of resin on it here and there or something. I don't know, it should, it should dry, not dry off. It should burn off pretty soon though. 